Earlier today, Claire Eastham talked about her battle with crippling anxiety, which at times meant she struggled to even leave the house. And it seems she's not alone. Claire's back now alongside clinical psychologist Dr Anna Colton. Uh, ladies, let's get straight on to the calls. Mm -hmm. We're going to speak to Hannah first of all. Good morning to you, Hannah. Hi. Hi. So you've been suffering for, with severe um, anxiety and depression, uh, which now has led the last three years you've been housebound. Yep, totally stuck in at the moment. Oh, gosh, so, so that must be dreadful for you to let us know where to live your life. Oh, God, no, definitely not. It's, it, it affects every aspect of your life. And you say there are times that you can't even be in the same room as your partner and that your safe place has become your prison. Yeah, it has. Um, currently, at the moment, I'm... Well, obviously, you know, I'm housebound, but I'm isolated to one room, which is my bedroom. Um, at the moment, I can't be around my partner or even my dog, which I know sounds quite silly, but um, I haven't seen family in a few weeks because I can't... I just can't be around anyone. So you're 22 and you'll be in that bedroom. What do you do when you're in that bedroom? Um, I've got little hobbies, you know, um, make hair bowls for my nieces or watch telly, just anything to keep my mind from wondering. <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, Claire, I mean, this sort of rings true. You know exactly how she's feeling. Yeah, I've got absolutely so much empathy for you there. It, it's That's the thing about anxiety. It's, it's the cruelest trick because the more ground you give it, the more it will take. So you think, oh, I'll retreat here because it's safer and it'll take it off you and then you have to go further back and then you go further back. Mm. It's a vicious cycle. It, it reinforces all the time. So every time that you... Given is the wrong phrase, but every time you are overcome by it, your brain goes, you see, you see, you couldn't do it. So next time, you, it, it overcomes you sooner and sooner and sooner, which is why, although it's incredibly difficult and, you know, we can't underestimate how difficult it is, exposure, graded, gradual exposure, kind of facing what terrifies you. And it can be baby, baby steps, you know, it could be going to the door of the bedroom on one day, going to the top of the stairs the next day and just staying for as long as is comfortable. But then, if you, if, if you do that, Hannah, if you can do that, you then have to congratulate yourself for it. You can't say, oh, well, it wasn't very good, I only got to the door of the bedroom. Because, actually, that's a step further yeah. than the previous day. And that is the only way, with, with help as well, but it's the only way to actually overcome the anxiety, like Claire did. It, it's pushing through that kind of emotional brain, which will always what win. What about when... If it, because um, Hannah says she suffers from severe anxiety and depression. And so does that then cross over into the realms where, hang on a second, you ought to see your GP here because there may be a chemical imbalance and pills might help? I mean, Hannah, have you seen your GP? I, I kind of assumed you had. Um, I haven't seen anyone apart from about three weeks worth of therapy, which obviously didn't work for me, but um, I deal with my doctors by phone, so I haven't actually seen a doctor or a nurse in about three years. I think it is really yeah, important that you yeah. get some medical help because, as, as Philip says, there will be chem chemical imbalances that can be helped if you want some medication, but you will also have to do cognitive behavioural therapy and exposure. They come hand in hand and it is very challenging. But it, it is doable, and Claire is a brilliant example well, of that. Well, that's what I was about to say, is that, you know, you see someone like Claire today and you know that this is something that you can change. I mean, do you... In your head right now, do you feel like you're going to live the rest of your life locked away in your bedroom? Yeah. Right. At the well, moment, I, I just can't see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Right. Well, that's not going to be the case. So you need to believe that. That's not going to be the case. Yeah. Okay. 